friends. How are you? Isn't it great to be outside? Especially to be outside without a coat and boots. Oh, I love spring because it means summer is coming. Well, today I'm just working on my family tree. Yep. This here's Uncle Bob. No, I'm kidding you. But sometimes a family tree looks more like this, right? You put your name in the center, and then you put your parents' names, and your grandparents' names, and their names of their parents before that, and before long, you have a tree that shows where you came from. It shows all the different generations in your family. I dug out some old pictures today to, to help me trace my generations. This is my Nana, and, and this is me when I was just a little baby. And you know what? This is my great, great grandmother. Yeah, wow. I can trace my family back quite a few generations. I am really lucky. And do you know what the best thing is? Do you know what all these people have in common? They were all Christians. That's right. They all believed in God and believed in Jesus Christ and they passed that down to every generation, to all their kids and their kids' kids. And just like my grandmother passed along her faith to my mom and my dad, then they passed it on to me. And I've tried to pass it on to my daughter and now to my grandchildren. Oh, what a gift that is to be able to tell children like you guys, the wonderful stories of Jesus. You know, in the Bible, we get warned about false teachers, people who preach all sorts of different things, but they don't have Christ at their heart. So we have to be careful. But those of us who have Christian families and can rely on that, well, the aim of that is to spread love that comes from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. And that's what I have had all my life. And I am so lucky. Now, it doesn't end there. The last few weeks, we've been talking a little bit about where we go from here. We've come through Easter. We know that Jesus is risen and is with God. What happens now? Well, last week, remember, we talked about we have to be disciples. Just like Jesus told Peter and the other disciples, go out and look after my flock. Teach people about me and teach people to love one another. Remember the greatest commandment of all, love one another as you would yourself. Well, I think that's a great commandment, but it's our job too, right? We didn't just leave it up to the disciples. They taught people and those people taught other people and before long, it was our ancestors, our great, 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 great grandparents who were being taught faith, who were being taught about Jesus Christ. Now we come to our generation. We know that our moms and dads are doing the best they can to teach us the right way to live. Well, someday you may have children too, and it'll be your job to continue that lineage, to continue teaching other generations about your family and about your history, all the way back to Jesus Christ. Wow, that sounds like a big job, doesn't it? But that's okay. We can get started just a little bit at a time. Every day we talk a little bit more about Jesus, whether it's in Sunday school or with our families, so that we have his message deep in our hearts. Remember, love that issues from a pure heart, a good conscience, and a sincere faith. That's what we want. And we want to pass on that message to other people. God's, Jesus' greatest commandment to love one another and be kind, right? That's always a good message too. So this week, which is Christian Family Sunday, or Mother's Day, as we like to call it, I want you to make sure that you start that chain of love today. You go find your parents and tell them how much you love them and how much you appreciate the fact that they're teaching you about Jesus. One more generation is learning this amazing story. And since it's Mother's Day today, I want you to make very sure that you give your moms a hug and tell her that you love her. Because remember, moms really like that stuff. Okay? Have an awesome day and a great week, everybody. I'll see you soon. Okay? Okay. See you soon, Bob.